Hello, my name is Russell Blake. I am a professional musician, educator, composer, producer, and arranger for 34 years. I have a package entitled the Universal Language Music History and Cultural Program. Essentially, it encompasses the 34 years of my vast musical experience into one seminar assembly program for your students. It shows them and exposes them to various idioms of music, encompassing classical, traditional jazz, Brazilian music, Caribbean, opera, country western, as well as gospel music. It enables them to use this as a tool to see the world in a much more expansive way than they are generally and typically used to. I hope that you will enjoy this package for it is meant for your students to grow and to progress through life. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. The name of this program is entitled The Universal Language Music History and Cultural Program. By the grace of God, throughout my career, I've been blessed to perform and tour in 22 countries around the world. And in that experience, it taught me that music is a method of communication that needs not be written down or needs not to be spoken in order for you to get along with your neighbor. In other words, during my performances in other countries, I was performing for people who I did not understand their native tongue. They did not understand English, but we were able to relate with one another, form friendships based solely upon the music. Universal language comes in many forms. The definition being, let's take for example, sign language for those who are hearing impaired. Let's take for example, braille for those who are visually impaired. Let's take for example, the science of mathematics. Let's take for example, a smile. All of these things are considered to be universal languages. In this context, I'm talking about music as universal language. For those of you who are not familiar with this instrument, it's the four string electric bass instrument. It's a member of the string family. Right. It's a member of the string family. It's directly descended from the acoustic bass or the upright bass, the big violin that you see playing in the orchestras. As you can see with this big map of the world, what I want to do today is take us on a very brief trip in a very brief amount of time of different cultures and different musics of different parts of the world. The first continent that I'd like to start with is Europe. And I'd like to talk about some of the main composers and some of the main music which has come out of Europe. It's called classical music. And some of the main composers are Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Ludwig von Beethoven, Rachmaninoff, just to name a few, Tchaikovsky and others. Today, I would like to perform for you a song by a young man. Well, he passed away very young, but his name is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. He was born in the year 1756 in Salzburg, Austria, and he was a very, very, very important individual to the world. He gave such great music to the world. By the time he was five years old, he wrote his first symphony. By the time he was 13 years old, he had already traveled to 30 countries doing performances as a young child. By the end of his life, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote over 60 symphonies. He wrote many operas and many different other forms of music. I'm going to perform for you today one of his greatest pieces. It's called Ein Klein Knock Music. It was written in the year 1787. I'm sure you've heard it before. <laughs> Thank you. 